Hello Aquarius and welcome to your February 2019 mid-month check-in. This is for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? If this resonates with you Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you Aquarius, Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you, this is for Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius February 2019 for their mid-month check-in for Aquarius? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> you, I feel, are focused on trying to walk away from a situation. But we will get to that in just a moment. Somebody's rushing in. This is an unexpected surprise. This is somebody um, just kind of out of the out of nowhere, like texting you or calling you or knocking on your door. Right? This is. I feel like it's a nice surprise here. Because this is very, very good. This is very, very good. Okay. Um, so expect the unexpected Aquarius. This is air energy. I've got water here. I've got earth here. <clears throat> I'm going to read the energies of the cards. Okay. So, so far, we got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. Now, it could be that you're delivering some sort of truth or you're the one that's being um, spontaneous and reaching out to someone unexpectedly, but I feel like it's coming towards you because your mind's occupied somewhere else at this moment. The situation, somebody is trying to manifest a new beginning with you. They've been thinking about it. All right? They feel like they got all the tools. They need to make it happen. Okay, so we've got the sword for truth, the wand for passion, the cup for love, and the pinnacle for success. And they're going to twirl that little baton and zap you right in the ass with it. All right, so somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning here with you. And they're coming in fast and furious. So be ready. The challenge is a soulmate connection. I feel like um, this is going to be difficult to get off the ground, right? It's going to be difficult for this relationship to start because, like I said, you're focused on on something, something, something else. You're focused on walking away from something that no longer emotionally serves you. You are not fulfilled where you're at right now, but somebody's coming in and wanting a new beginning here, and they feel or will feel a very strong soulmate connection to you. You guys will feel very close to each other. This is a divine situation here. But it's going to take a minute. Okay? It's going to take a minute. Uh, two of Cups here, that's water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The advice is we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay? So... This could start off maybe a little bit slower since it's earth energy, maybe more of like a partnership, dating thing kind of a thing. This could be somebody uh, rushing in, somebody that you work with, somebody that you go to school with. Um, I feel like they've put you up on a pedestal here, Aquarius. They're admiring you. It's kind of hard to be up on a pedestal sometimes. But they, I feel like they've been watching They've been waiting and watching, okay? But the advice for you is I feel like when they come in, because they're coming in crazy, right? 
they've been waiting for this opportunity. They've been waiting for something to happen. They've been watching. You see how these people are watching this person that, that's on this stool or whatever, right? They've been watching. And they know something's happening with you, Aquarius. They know. So um, they're coming in, coming in pretty quickly. So your advice, especially with this earth energy in the advice section here, I feel is to take it a little bit slower. Um, maybe start off, you know, in like a partnership, not just, you know, let's just go get married and just be, you know, what I mean. Because your focus is the Eight of Cups. You are trying very hard to move past something. You're, you're wanting to move away from something that, uh, or trying to move away from something that absolutely no longer emotionally fulfills you. They don't. But you know who can fill your cups for you? Aquarius? Whoever this is rushing in because they got a big old cup of love for you. Right? King of Cups energy, more water. Male or female absolutely does not matter here. Could be a smooth talker too, so just so you're aware of that. Very charming person. Um, they are following their heart here. I feel like they've been waiting a long time to come rushing in to make this happen. Rushing in to tell you the truth. Rushing in to... Um, you know, tell you, let's, let's try to have a new beginning here. It's going to be a bit of a challenge for them to get this to, to get it to the point where it's this energy right here. You may have to start off in a partnership right here, right? That is the advice. It's like Aquarius, I think you're the one that's going to have to kind of slow things down a little bit because they, it's like, they're so excited. They're like, oh my God, Aquarius is walking away from something. They're not happy no more. I, I'm coming in. I'm rushing in. I'm going to sweep Aquarius off their feet. Because I got love for Aquarius, right? They're following their heart. They're following their intuition towards you. Damn. All right. Please clarify this King of Cups for Aquarius. Please clarify this King of Cups for Aquarius for their mid-month check-in. February 2019. Yeah, what I say. They have been waiting. You see how their heads all lit up? You see it? They know what they want. They want you, Aquarius. They've been waiting. They've been keeping their hands to themselves. Right? They see you at that point where you're at a crossroads. Right? So I think the ball is going to be in your court here when they come rushing in with this big old offer, with this big old cup of love, look at that. They know you're gonna have to decide. They've just been waiting for this opportunity. <laughs> they've been waiting, they've been watching, not in a weird way, but like, not in like a stalker kind of way, but they admire you and like, <laughs> You know, if, if you're posting stuff on social media about heartbreak or whatever, they are they know that something's going on, right? They're seeing you at this crossroads, and um, they're seeing you moving away from a situation that no longer serves you, that leaves you feeling empty emotionally, and they're going to come swooping in to win your heart. And you're going to have to decide to do about this. All right. This is for Aquarius. For the mid-month check-in, February 2019 for Aquarius. What is going on? Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. What is going on? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And I think that's where this earth energy is coming in to where let's slow it down a little bit. Let's, um, I feel like you're going to be kind of cautious in this situation. And I feel like they know that. 
okay? They may be waiting. They, they may potentially be waiting for you to go, you know, choose the path that's going to go towards them completely, right? And then they want you to feel safe. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like right now is the time that they feel safe. It's the right opportunity to open their heart to you. But, but in return, they want you to feel safe and secure and know that it is it's going to be safe for you to open your heart to them when you're ready, right? They'll be patient, especially that they have been patient and they will continue to be, right? So, very nice energy here. Very nice reading here, Aquarius. I feel like they've been waiting a long time to tell you some things. All right, there is, that is your um, February mid-month check-in for 2019. I hope you have enjoyed it. I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then Friday is the live Love, Lust, or Loss, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. I will be working on the future love readings next week, so stay tuned for all of that. And you guys take very good care of yourselves, and God bless.